Okay, Lou Depot back here again, and we're going to talk a little bit about the new way of doing plumbing, basically plumbing water lines or, or heat lines, which is um, which is PEX, the new way of doing PEX tubing. Now, years ago, they used to use galvanized steel fittings, screw and thread, where you would actually screw and thread everything together, and that was in the early 1900s. Thank God, before I was born. But they got away from that and they switched over to copper. And copper was the main plumbing line for years for water lines, to wash machines, dryers, dishwashers, the whole house. Everything was copper, even the heat. And that's been going on even till today. It still goes on. But they have come up with a new way of doing it. And that's PEX. And that's the most easiest way to do it now. And if you go to your local Home Depot... You can get the PEX and all the fittings. Uh, to use the PEX, there's two ways of doing it. And they have, uh, 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 first of all, most of the houses that are still copper and you want to add a bathroom, you'll want to attach the PEX to the copper and then continue on in PEX because it's a lot cheaper. Copper is expensive. And to do that, they sell these fittings which are adapters, half inch and three quarter. They're copper to PEX adapters. If you can see that, one side is copper, and it slips onto copper. And what you would do is you would solder that side with a torch, and then once it cools, you can go on and continue with your PEX. Now, the PEX is very simple. It's a simple plastic pipe that you would cut with. Cut, you have to cut it nice and evenly. And I have this cutter here. It's going to show you how to cut it. I'm going to actually just cut a piece for you. And that's it. It's as simple as that. And to put it on the copper, there's a, a PEX tool that you would use. And it's also sold in the Home Depot. And you simply use these rings. You get a bag of them very cheap. It's kind of hard to see, but uh, I don't know if you can see that. It's got a little square on it. And the square actually fits in the tool. Once the tool is open all the way. And, and it kind of bites and holds it like that. Now the tool has the ring in its hand. So you would take the PEX, slip it onto the PEX fitting, the brass fitting. Then slip the ring all the way down onto it. Right to the very end and maybe back off an eighth of an inch. And you would simply squeeze it all you might. And I just did that. The tool will open back up after it closes all the way and release. And that now that PEX is attached to that fitting forever, unless you cut the ring off, of course. It's been squeezed with over 100 pounds of pressure, and it's on there. Of course, we didn't solder the ring yet. But that that's how you use the PEX, with the, the PEX tool and the PEX rings. And you can get a bag of them very cheap at the Home Depot, a couple bucks. This is them. You can see that. That's one way of doing the PEX, with the tool. That's the cheap way. You have to buy the tool, though. It's about $50. It's not bad. If you don't want to get the tool and you only have to do it with one fitting and you want to do a repair, shark bite, I'm going to cut this off with this cutting tool. It's very, very simple to cut. And there is the, the squeezed PEX fitting. And they don't leak. If you wanted to join the PEX to the copper, there is one more, may, one more way of doing it, and that's with a shark bite coupling. This eliminates soldering, and it eliminates the tool. It's a little expensive. You may not want to do a whole house in it, because by the time you do it, it would be expensive. At that point, you might want to invest in the tool. But to do one simple fitting, these fittings simply push on, And that's done, and you can push the other end right onto your copper. And that's done. And that's a complete, you cannot get that apart, and I'm pretty strong. That's com a complete sealed coupling from PEX to copper with a shark bite coupling. And there is a removal tool that they sell here in case you make a mistake. You can simply put the tool onto the PEX. 
or onto the copper, squeeze very hard and pull, and you can get it out. And the fitting is still good. And you can get it off the copper as well. The tool simply slips onto the pipe and pushes against it. These are kind of locked on like Chinese handcuffs. And there's a way of squeezing and pulling. And that's the shark bite coupling. You can join copper to copper with it. You can join pecs to pecs with it. Done. Done. And these are high pressure. They'll last at any house. They're just fine. It's nothing more than a shark bite coupling. This happens to be half inch. Or you can use the tool. If you want to use the tool, they make all the fittings for the tool. This happens to be a half inch T if you want to continue and tee off. The, the PEX also makes half inch male and female adapters where you would actually, this happens to be for a shower head, where you can thread and screw with some Teflon tape and a wrench. Screw the male into the female end if you need to have a thread to start off with. Once you do that, then you can put your pecs on and squeeze with your tool. And, of course, you would go with your pecs from there. So they have every fitting there is. If you want to get away from the copper, there's pecs male, pecs female adapters, pecs to copper, pecs to pecs. Everything. And that's basically it. That's, that's the big mystery about PEX. It's no mystery. By the way, red, white, and blue is for domestic waters. There is a special PEX for heat. It's called oxygen barrier or barrier tubing. It's coated with a special coating. So you, can, you can't use this white stuff on heat because it carries oxygen back to the boiler and ruins the boiler and the components. It starts rusting them. You have to use oxygen barrier for heat. But for hot and cold domestic waters, to the washing machine, to the sink, to anywhere in the house, go PEX, no problem at all. Get the tool at the Home Depot, $50, and start doing it with the squeeze fittings, which are very cheap. They come in these bags. Or if you have a simple repair, shark bite, you just push it together. You make a mistake, the tool takes off. And by the way, the PEX even makes the, the, the valves for under the sink now. This is a regular speedy valve that you would shut, and then that supply tube goes up to the faucet, except it's not solder on anymore. It actually fits inside the PEX. You would put it into the PEX, squeeze it with your tool with another PEX ring on there, and that would be your valve under your sink now going up to your toilet bowl to your, to your faucet. So that's it. PEX. Cheap in copper, easier to work with, it passes inspections, it's fine.